What's up, y'all? I'm still out here at the range, as you can see back behind me, on another cold, cloudy day. This wind has really started kicking up. I've gotten a couple interesting things done out here today, and I had a few more planned, but with this stuff turning me into an ice cube out here, this is probably going to be the last one of the day, so hopefully it's going to be another good 45 ACP test. So I got the jelly contraption out here shivering with a couple of chronos and two blocks of gel. Now, again, I've done a couple of tests in this far block, so it's pretty full. I'll leave some links pretty interesting stuff at least one of them anyway this front block completely clear other than just a couple little tiny pieces that went in hopefully this stuff we test is going to live up to its reputation and it'll stay within this first block and do what it's supposed to do of course like i always mentioned i'm using a heavy clothing barrier on it with a layer of denim fleece and two layers of cotton t-shirt and what we got here really needs no introduction as far as ammo goes it's the federal premium hst one of the best available off the shelf rounds in most calibers now there's a few of them that ain't so hot this 45 acp has done pretty well the reason i'm going back and testing this stuff i've tested this in the past but never out of a real short barrel that i can remember with all my clothing and all that stuff added and i recently did a test with the aac 45 and 230 grain it was the xtp just not moving very fast and had zero expansion and i made the comment about you know i don't know why they even bother loading these 230 grain hps in 45 acp anymore and of course after that i had some people getting after me about the hst here and yes they're right y'all are right hst has done pretty well but i'm personally afraid even with the reputation and good performance out of hst that when it comes to this little short barrel here i just don't have the highest hopes for it so what we're going to do here is run the 230 grain standard and plus p here so as far as the standard the velocity is saying 890 feet per second again i don't think we're even going to see that obviously i just shorter barrel and any other round a 45 even if it did hit that i would be sitting here cringing just knowing that it's not going to do well but being that it's hst hopefully that's not the case so the standard pressure there and then the plus p now this plus p doesn't have any velocity on the box or anything so i'm not sure really what to expect out of this i know i've tested it in the past but again never through this g30 at all so there's your cartridges nice nickel plated case with that hst projectile and again i'm running them out of a short barrel here today we've got the g Gen 4 Glock 30 with a 3.8 inch barrel. So hopefully being that this is HST, this will be a good test to end out the day with, but let me get this stuff set up and let's see what happens. All right, y'all, let's see how fast these chunks are moving on out. And we'll do a five round average from each one. We'll start with the standard pressure first. Um, now, again, if y'all not familiar with this lab radar, like I always talk about, you're gonna get multiple velocity readings. Your large number is gonna be from your muzzle and then you'll have five additional readings across the bottom. One of them is set for three yards, which is roughly where the gel here is at 10 feet. And then you're gonna have 10, 15, 25, and 50. So remember now the box on this was saying 890 on this standard pressure, but obviously that wasn't out of this short barrel, so I don't expect that. Well, let's see how fast they're rolling on though. See what happens here. 715. 743. 783. 760. And 796, so definitely not the 890. And I'm gonna tell y'all, at them kind of speeds, I don't wanna be negative Nancy just yet, but I don't have the highest hopes for that. Let's check out the average. All right, so we had on that of 759, so that's 100, more than 100, almost 150 off from what the box claimed. Extreme spread of 81 and a standard deviation of 32.3, so a little bit of a big spread there. The high on it was 796, so the high didn't even hit 800, and then the low was 715, so this is hst but i'm gonna tell you that's some slow speeds right there for a 230 grain round let's get it reset and let's see if the plus p does any better all right let's see if this plus p is moving on any faster if i was guessing i would say no little to no difference at all from this little short barrel but let's see what happens here y'all a little more recoil maybe but not much 793 809 844, 830, 
and 847 so i can't remember what we even had on that last one i don't think it was much different a little bit snappy as far as recoil but not a whole lot let's check the average all right i believe this actually might be a decent amount faster we had a five round average that time of 825 and i'm pretty sure we didn't even hit a 800 on that standard pressure our uh, extreme spread was 54 with a standard deviation of 22.9 so 825 on this and if you remember on that standard pressure it was 759 so you're talking about 66 feet per second faster 66 feet per second that's not quite 10 percent so not really significant in a lot of cases in the case of this 45 acp 230 grain that 66 might make the difference but i'm just really not confident in either one of these i think the plus p might be enough to do what it needs to do but this standard pressure i'm really seriously worried about well, let's get this stuff set up and y'all know what time it is all right y'all it's chunky monkey jelly time i'm gonna put one of each into the gel starting with this standard pressure first now i'm gonna have to ask for forgiveness for the sin of doubt in the hst if i'm wrong but i really think this standard pressure might be a fail y'all i do hope i'm wrong though for sure let's see what happens with it all right that should have been a good one let me go see what happened All right, y'all, forgive me for I have sinned. Never again will I doubt the greatness of the HST. That is actually pretty impressive. That was only moving at 800 feet per second and got expansion down there. Now, it looks like it had a little bit of an issue. We'll look at it here in a second, but that's really, really impressive. Let's see what this plus P does. Now, I'm, you know, I don't have any doubt on this one now. I, I, I guess I shouldn't have doubted the HST to begin with, but let's see what this one here does. That looked a little strange. I think that might actually came out the side. Let me go see what happened. All right, y'all, sure enough, that thing curved and popped out the side on me. So let's try another one. I will say now, maybe I'm just being paranoid, jump to conclusions. That wound track looks a little suspect from that one right there. Well, let's try it again. Let's make sure and verify this here. All right, hopefully that's a good one right there. Let's go see what we got. All right, y'all, that's actually what I was afraid of by looking at that first track from the Plus P. I might have gave these HSTs a little too much credit too soon because there was zero expansion on that thing. Now, it did go into another track at the very end, but I just I know that had absolutely nothing to do. It should have expanded way before that. But I'm going to put another round just to see what's going on because I noticed that one landed at like 780, so it was actually on the lower end of the average for the Plus P. It was actually about 20 lower than the standard, so i don't think that 20 would make that much difference but who knows i'm gonna put one more just to verify since it's the last test of the day here all right that should be a good one there let's go down there and see what we got All right, let's check out what we got down here. This is definitely a strange mixed bag. I think what's happened here is we actually found the threshold of these HSTs as far as being able to expand as far as the speed. I think right at 800 is pretty much the bare minimum that you want to get proper expansion from these. So what we got here right there, the second one down from how you're looking at it here, that was the very first round I sent. That was the standard pressure one. Came in here, expanded, well, you can see nice little bit of disruption carries on through here and you got some nice expansion here, but it's not full expansion. It looks like maybe a couple of the pedals did not peel back outwards, but still really nice performance from that one right there to be what it is. So then things got weird on us. This first one right here, that was the first plus P went in here and curved out and came out the side. And just looking at that, I could already tell you right now that did not expand. I can just tell the disruption between these tracks from doing this so long. You can 
look at the difference between that one and the ones that did expand and the other one that did not expand. That one did not expand, there's no doubt about it. So to verify that, I sent another one. That one's actually the one on the top and you can see it, no expansion at all. Just a straight line, a little bit of disruption into the second block and there you see the projectile facing backwards. And the only reason I sent another one is just because that was so strange and it got into this, but it should have expanded well before it got into any of these tracks. And so then the final plus P gave us a little bit of redemption for whatever reason. You can see it there. Looks like it did have some immediate expansion. Carries on through here. Now it's sitting backwards though. So somewhere along the line in there it tumbled and it does not have very good expansion at all. It has a little bit and adequate for 45 ACP, but it always goes back to the amount that you're paying, especially for these HST rounds. So let's check out this penetration on them. The first one, the standard pressure here, that one's got some nice penetration out to exactly 13 and a half inches of four momentum and then as far as your plus p's the first one that went out doesn't really matter it went out at 10 and a half the second one that's down here completely unexpanded turned around backwards went to 21 inches and then the final one that did give us a little expansion is out at 15 inches so the ones that did what they're supposed to do did a nice job and even this one i mean it would do the job it's a 40 five ACP. But again, you're paying for something with these rounds that didn't perform that you did not get. Here's your close-up look of them. So from the top, that's the uh, plus P that did not expand. The second one is actually the first round. That was the standard pressure. You can see it right there. Uh, the top again, that's the first plus P that did not expand. There you can see it. The second one, or that was actually the second one. The first one went out the side. And then the final one, the third one down there on the very bottom, you can tell the difference between the one that did not expand and you can just tell when they get expansion it starts dumping cloth that one carries on through here and then there you see that one again it's got some expansion but not nearly what it should have and then from the top here that one you see and it's got the nicest disruption that one actually expanded and the one on the bottom so it's a very very obvious difference now again as far as the projectiles you can see there definitely not full expansion from either one of them all right, y'all, let's check out these projectiles. What you see here is just more of this mixed bag that we got right here. So this one right here is actually the standard pressure and these two are out of the plus P. So you can see here the standard pressure expanded much, much better. But even then one pedal or two pedals, absolutely no expansion. And then a couple of them did not expand like they were supposed to. So that's your standard. And then the plus P here, even worse. I mean, it just had very, very little expansion again, a couple that didn't do anything and none of them really peeled back like they should and there's this one the plus p that didn't do anything at all just slam full of cloth i think these things out of that short barrel are just not at the speed threshold that they need to expand properly now is this adequate absolutely both of these are all three of them are i mean it's a 45 acp you put the things in the right spot and they're going to do the job but it's again i know i sound like a broken record you are paying for way more than what you're getting from these things. But let's get some measurements and see what we got there. I'd be very surprised from any loss. They all started at 230. The standard here is at 230.1, so nothing gone there. The plus P's, this first one here, you got 230.0, and then this unexpanded one here, you got 230.3, so absolutely nothing lost from any of them. They barely got enough expansion or deformation or anything to even think about losing material. And then for the sizes, this is going to be very irregular. I'm not even going to bother with the one that didn't expand at all. This uh, plus P, you got 590 and 555, just really, really irregular. Not that that's a big deal, but again, that's not what you're supposed to get out of that. And then the standard pressure here, you've actually got a pretty big section right there that's 892 and in this direction here you got 630 so nice size but they started at 45 so you didn't have far to go there but just not consistently expanded at all just not what you're paying a premium for and there you have it y'all the federal premium hst 230 grain and 45 acp standard and plus p now again any of these would do the job. If you do your job, they would get the job done, but it is not performing like 
like it's supposed to out of this short barrel. Now the longer ones, yeah, probably a totally different story, but I think we absolutely found the threshold, like I said, as far as where these things need to be to expand and anything much below 800 feet per second at all just definitely does not get the job done with these. All right, y'all, that's gonna do it for this pretty eye-opening HST 45 ACP test. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I was actually kind of afraid of this, even being the great reputation that HST has after seeing those speeds. I mean, those are some big, big, big projectiles. 230 grains, that's a lot of weight to get moving fast enough to get all that material to peel back like it should. Now, not that these were complete failures, but again, like I always go back to, for what you're paying for these rounds right here you did not get that and so again with all that taken into account i'm going right back to my original opinion and i'm staying with it as far as 230 grain hp 45 acps that is just not the way if you ask me especially in a short barrel now longer one if you want to run the, the hps go for it but for me i want something lighter than 230 grain or just a good old 230 grain ball but let me know what y'all think about it down in the comments is this what you expected this hp HST to do or did you expect way better performance more consistent performance from it even through the short barrels let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are again if you did enjoy the video reach down and hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel share it if you want to share it and make sure you turn on your notifications so you get notified when i upload new stuff as always a huge thanks to all my range gang members and every single one of y'all for the support y'all show i've had some pretty interesting stuff out here today this weather is turning really rough it's getting cold the wind's blowing and now the sprinklers are already coming in early. So the next five days is supposed to be a total washout, but I've got some good stuff already in the works. So stay on the lookout for that. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see y'all soon.